Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, so that is two days after Christmas. I'm making return and finally finishing up my shopping. So our Christmas was pretty chill. Leave down in the comments if you guys had a really relaxing Christmas. And also I am curious, what are your New Year's resolutions if you have any? One of the more achievable ones that I think I set for myself this year is that I am going to read through the Bible in a year. The current Bible that I have right now has a year long study in the back of it. So that's one of the things that I'm gonna do. So as this year is coming to a close, I am doing a lot of deep soul searching of how I've grown this year, how I may grow next year, what next year is going to be like, honestly, because of how lousy this year has been. I don't have a whole lot of excitement for 2021. I just hope that it's going to be better than it was this year. So as I said in my last video, the two turkeys that Sam and I received were indeed a donation and a blessing to us, which as you saw, I made good use out of them. And as I was driving over to get the turkeys, I honestly was crying because it's been a crazy year. And a part of me, like I'm sure many people do as we are humans, I just felt completely undeserving of the blessings that I was receiving, even though the blessing was as something as insignificant to some people. The two turkeys that we got were a tremendous blessing, and I'll be able to use both of those to make many meals. And I know that Sam and I both have a lot of really great friends and people that we consider family that are very near and dear to us. And sometimes when I'm thinking about it, I just... I get really overwhelmed. Why me? Why should I deserve the blessing? Like, you know, what significance have I brought to the world where I'm so deserving of grace? Especially with being in my shoes, being a caretaker for Sam and just kind of taking on such a heavy load to run the family. It's really exhausting and I'm tired a lot of time. And oftentimes I tend to feel like, you know, woe is me, as is a very understandable response to our current situation. I mean, we want it better. We would love to have a bigger home. We would love to have Sam be fully recovered and our son finally get to experience his father at his best health finally. Because Benjamin's only known his dad to have poor health and to feel really weak. And sometimes Sam will try to serve me and do things for me and it's really uncomfortable and oftentimes I stop him because it's my knee jerk response like, no, I am so undeserving. I am so undeserving to be served and to be blessed. And that's one of the big things that I have been pondering lately is why me? Why am I so deserving of good things when I feel like my entire life I've been fighting for a better life for myself just to feel like I get met with one wall after another getting smacked down on my butt again and again and again and I know that Sam feels the same way and in many ways we are going through seasons together and also he's going through his battle with his kidney failure on his own. I mean, I'm there with him, but I don't understand to the extent of what he's feeling. I definitely try to, but that is where friends of his come in that are going through either the same or similar ebbs and flows with kidney failure as he is, or Wagner's disease, which is how all of this started with Sam, which that affects everybody differently. We have a friend of ours who it's affected more of her nasal area, I believe. And for Sam, it has attacked his kidneys. Because of the white nurse disease, his body thinks that his kidneys were an enemy or illness of some sort and they attacked him. And of course, like, you know, there's that failure there. And with his weak immune system comes with all these other things, all his trouble breathing because of fluid around his heart and his lungs. He has an upcoming surgery to hopefully help fix that, which I'm looking forward to because it definitely takes a toll on his body. And I feel like I, I asked that question, why me? Because I feel like so much of life I had to fight for, like I said. And I feel, and th that in itself, feeling like I come up short so often, makes me feel personally in a way that I'm insignificant and unworthy to receive grace and mercies and blessings and all that stuff. I mean, I definitely try to remember to have gratitude for everything that I do have. And sometimes I get so lost in the negative aspect of all these things that are going on in our lives that I forget to thank God. We have a incredible four-year-old. I wouldn't want to go through life with anybody else. I mean, God told me that Sam was going to be my husband 
who knew that we were going to be going through this kind of hell with his health. And for me to, in many ways, put myself on the back burner because my family comes first before me. And Sim often has to remind me that I am still a priority, even though I don't feel like it and I don't feel deserving of it. And I'm saying all this like not to like, you know, ask for attention or seek attention. I'm just sharing what naturally I think and feel. I know that those thoughts and feelings can be very toxic and you have to like, you know, work through them and all that stuff, but it's just, it's very exhausting. And like I said, I'm just sharing all these things because I'm human. I have my doubts. I have my insecurities. I'm not going to try and slap a band-aid on my problem and say, oh, I'm fine. But really, I'm dying on the inside. Like, I'm smiling, but I'm screaming internally. <laughs> Someone's randomly just, just scream singing outside. I am at Walmart, so that explains a lot. <laughs> but and I know you guys, in a lot of ways, feel the same to a lot of the things that I'm sharing here. The problem is that people just don't talk about the hard stuff enough. People don't talk about the daily struggles that we have. Like all of us, to some extent, have dealt with depression. Some of us may have dealt with suicidal thoughts. Thankfully, I have not. I have definitely had a point in my life where I just didn't want to exist anymore. I've definitely had my times in the valley, if you will, times of depression. There's also been good times, but it's so unfortunate that even in the good times, in the back of my mind, I'm wondering, okay, so when is this gonna end? When is life gonna hit the fan again? And I'm gonna go, wow. I took for granted a great moment in my life where things were just going good, where things were just lining up. Right now we're, we're in a season where we're just waiting for life to line itself up. And think about all these things, I've kind of gotten like a little bit depressed, kind of upset with myself because I allow myself to think all these negative things. And like I said, I don't allow myself to stay in the mindset of gratitude and appreciation for my life. Because, I mean, all we know right now is negative. Sure, when people ask us how we're doing, my response is, oh yeah, I'm fine. Or, oh yeah, I'm doing great. At this very present second, once I go back home, I'm in the quiet of our seemingly mundane life, I will fall into depression again. And I wasn't honest with those people who asked me how I'm doing. But honestly, like asking people how they're doing is such, I feel like such a, a conversation filler, like saying, um, like people just ask, but I don't think people really are looking for, for the most part, most of the time, really looking for a super deep, super intellectual and emotionally filled response. I mean, I'm sure this goes for most everyone. We're not doing okay most of the time. Maybe at the present moment when someone asks us, like, you know, our mind will go to a blank and we'll think, oh yeah, I'm doing great. And then two seconds later, we go back into our mental reality and we think, yeah, I'm not doing so hot. But since that moment has passed, we're not going to get into it. And we have some very close friends of ours that have been pretty close in the situation with Sam over the past three years. When I say I'm doing okay, a lot of them just, they won't ask questions. They know exactly what I mean by that. This is my life. My life is imperfect, as is everybody else's life. And oftentimes we forget that. We kind of get lost in our own world and we just forget that other people are going through the same or similar things that we are. And it's kind of a humbling thing to go aha about every once in a while. Oh, I thought I was the only one going through this. Oh, I thought I was the only one that did this or thought this or whatever. And I love it that we discover that we're more similar than different. It kind of makes the world feel a little bit smaller in a good way, knowing that other people understand you and that you're not totally weird and a freak and whatever. People can relate to you and truly understand where you're coming from because people have gone through similar life situations or have a similar upbringing with similar families. I know that I have some friends through social media, through a good friend of mine that also does YouTube, and she has brought into my life some incredible friends, not even all within the US, but it's been really cool and it's also been humbling because it reminds me I'm not alone. I'm going through blank. Well, this other person's also going through blank just like me. And I love it. All I wanted to share was I'm constantly reminded to always count my blessings and always be optimistic and always be looking for the light at the end of the tunnel, even though it may feel like it's really far off or maybe even at the moment, non-existent. So if you guys have any prayer requests, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And that's it for this week's video, guys. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, hit a thumbs up. As always, guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.